This 20 acre parcel of privately owned land is located in Forest Lake, Minnesota, just 30 minutes north of the Twin Cities. The property lies within the Anoka County Sand Plain, meaning the soil type in this region is a mixture of dry, sandy, and upland soil types. The stand is predominantly red pine with some pin and northern red oaks, paper birch, box elder, and aspen scattered throughout, and one balsam fir. My management goal is to turn it into an even age system that produces saw logs and pulp wood to make a financial return on the landowner's investment. To achieve this, I will be doing a line plot cruise using a fixed radius plot method that uses eight one-tenth acre plots measured at five chains by five chains, two plots per line for this 20 acre parcel, and they measure two and a half acres per plot. Using fixed radius plots will allow us to do our timber appraisals and product classifications to calculate our estimates. Negative to using the fixed radius plot method for our inventory is it requires more time and effort to complete the job and adding additional cost and expenses to our operation. And for the stand that I will use is a shelter wood system. This will produce an even age stand and will remove the largest pines on site, allowing the middle aged red pines to be released from suppression. It will also allow the understory saplings to re establish. Tending will require periodic thinning and removals of understory brush to allow more vigor. The initial cut will harvest 80% of the oaks, birch, while only harvesting the mature red pines that exceed the DBH and height requirements for the initial cut. When planning the harvest operations for the stand, considerations such as an existing trail will be utilized for equipment and machinery travel. A housing development exists in the northeast section of the parcel that connects the highway. A landing will be established in the northwest corner of the site for ease of access to the highway. This will allow easier travel for our saw logs to the nearest mill. No existing wetlands or streams exist on this site, so there isn't necessary to incorporate RMZ and filter strips into the planning. The topography of the land is also very flat, so equipment access will be easy. The types of equipment that will be used there are a feller buncher, a skitter, and a delimiter. Skidding will be used to increase scarification and promote regeneration of the red pine. The larger red pines on site will be felled by hand if the trees fall outside of the saw timber classification. Snags deemed safe on the initial cruise will be flagged with tape to promote habitat for wildlife. Any hazardous snags found while the harvest operation is taking place will be up to the discretion of the logger. This stand will likely need two or more additional thinnings to produce the desired outcome of an even-aged red pine system that is able to produce quality logs in the future.